I don't understand why Christians say that God or Jesus or the Bible is in our hearts. And if that is so, why do you Christians need ministries in order to tell people about Jesus and God and the Bible? Because if it is true that Jesus is in our hearts as well as the Word of God, then why, again, need ministries? If all people have to do is just look inside themselves for the truth, which, of course, if the truth is actually Jesus, they'd find Jesus, not Muhammad's uh, view of religion, uh, Islam, or uh, the Buddhist version, or Hindu, or whatever religion that they're in. Because many claim, in their hearts, they believe in whatever religion they are in, and their other religions are wrong. Because what they feel in their hearts is the religion that they're in. And if it's if Christians claim that this is correct, then why don't all the other people who claim the same way, but for the other religions, claim about Jesus instead, unless it's not real? With that said, is there any situation in life in where following your heart prior to coming to a conclusion of something means that you are enlightened and people who seek proof for claims that are made are unenlightened people? If God were real, it would be the only situation in life where following your heart would be more of a reliable method than following reasoning or logic when it comes to acquiring truth. This is what theists believe that Yahweh, God, believes in. They believe that the best people are the people who seek conclusions with feeling things, with emotions and not logic and reasoning. This just doesn't make any sense really. I mean, are people that, are people that distorted that they must think that I believe with my heart, I know it in my heart, and I don't need reason or logic or any of that stuff in order to believe. I need faith. Belief without evidence. Faith in God, because it's in my heart. It makes no sense really. They believe that God believes that Anybody who seeks evidence for God are bad people. They won't believe unless they have proof, so they must be bad. Because faith is integrally proof, and we don't accept that. Every single religion on this planet has devout members, like I said, has people who believe with their hearts. And as I said before, they obviously wouldn't be correct because if one religion is correct, then all of them would feel it in their hearts just like them and they wouldn't be Christians or Muslims or Hindus or Buddhists. They'd be whatever religion is correct. If the Christians are correct, none of the Buddhists, Muslims and such and such wouldn't be them. They would be Christians because if they search in their heart like they say, they would be Christians and vice versa for the other religion. It contradicts itself. I don't understand why Buddhists, Muslims, Christians, Hindus and whatever claim differently about what's in our hearts. Honestly, I believe that what is in my heart is the same thing as what's in your heart. Blood.